This is Hydrogen Tab 1, Series 2. What we're doing is a pre-installation test. We're doing a force hydrogen test by putting lye in the unit and bringing the amperage up over 30 amps. We're using a 12-volt battery with no charger. I put water on the top of the unit, and as you can see, we're showing hydrogen leaking out. That's the voltmeter in the volts already are down below 10 volts because there's no charger on the circuit. And the amperage is over 30. What this test has now shown is that I'm going to have to go over all the ports. take them out and put sealant around every one of them. Right now, we're using Flummer's tape, which obviously is not working. Since there's hydrogen leaking out of the top, there's got to be hydrogen leaking out all over here, even though it doesn't show it. You can see the ports there where the electrodes come out. I'm going to have to pull those out. input sealant around each one of those and put them back in. You can see the sealant around the sensors. That's windshield sealant I'm using and it's working. This is what I'm going to have to put on the others. The good news is that you can see how much hydrogen is coming out of the unit now even with the leaks. Hydrogen is a very, very small molecule. It skates very easy. One of the problems you're going to have with it is if we don't seal everything, then we're going to lose half the energy. What you're looking at there is a meter that's showing us the water sensor is sensing water up to the right level. That actually is a voltmeter. And what I'm doing with that is not only measuring that the water is at that level, it's also measuring conductivity of the water in the unit, which is great. I'm going to install one of those, which is a voltmeter, in the car to monitor the water flow. There's two of them, as you can see. One on the top is the, the fill mark, the one on the bottom is just above the plates. This is a Series 2 unit, which is the trial unit just before we install the Series 3, which will go directly into the engine. As you can see, the voltage is now charged at 14 volts. We have a battery charger running on it to keep it up. 